WFMU, you're on the air. Hey, it sounds like a lot of craziness going on up there. Yeah, a lot of craziness on the phones. How hey, are you tonight? Hey, it's Philly Boy Roy. Hey, Philly Boy Roy, how are you tonight? Hey, how come you ain't talking about them their Jets? About the what? The Jets. How come I'm not talking about the Jets? Yeah, they went down in flames, didn't they? Uh, yeah, the Jets did lose this past weekend. Yeah, they could learn a thing or two from them Eagles. Uh, yeah, the Eagles won. Yeah, That's they were pretty... division champs. I love it. Well, so you are, you're listening to the show in Philly? Uh, oh, yes. Number one city. Philly is the number one city. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you Jets sucked out there, didn't you, against Oakland? Against who? Uh, Oakland. Oakland? Yeah. Yeah, I guess they did. Yeah, well, you know, they lost to them. They, they played them and they yeah. lost. Uh, you know, you know, Vinny wouldn't last a day down here in South Philly. In South Philly? Yeah, that guy's a joke. Who, Vinny Testaverde? Yeah. yeah, I guess he's pretty, uh, well, he's like an older quarterback, and I guess he kind of had Oh, he's his, over. I, he might be, he might have had his, you know, his seen his better days. But, <laughs> oh, yeah, many years ago. You know, McNabb is God. I guess he's, McNabb is, is pretty good. Oh, he's like the new Rocky. The new who? Rocky. Wait, the, the new what? Rocky. Rocky? Rocky Balboa. Oh, Rocky. Oh, okay. We got He Hate Me, too. Who? He Hate Me. What is that? What is that? Yeah, what? I, I'm having a hard time oh, understanding your accent. He was only the star of the XFL. Oh, oh, the guy He Hate Me. Uh, yeah, what do you think I said? Uh, to tell you the truth, I'm not sure what you said. Oh, you need to get it out of your ears, son. Now, you, you have to admit that your Philly, uh... You do have a bit of an accent. Oh, I don't think so. You don't think you have a, a Philadelphia accent? No. Wait, what? You don't? No. Say that again? No. What? No. N-A-O? N-O. O. Oh, you know Philly rules. See, I've never been a big fan of Philly. Oh, they... New York is over. What don't you love about Philly? Um, I've always thought it was kind of like a, like a second-rate city. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Hey, you know what? What? Just the other day I saw this article about the 25 best cities to live in. Yeah. And the 25 worst. Uh-huh. Guess who came in number one worst? Who? New York, New Jersey. They came in first the, for being the worst city. Yeah. And who came in for best? I guess. Philly. Philly. Now, are, have you, are you a native of Philadelphia? Oh, yeah, born and, born and raised. Uh-huh. So, I mean, what what is the allure to Philadelphia? Every time I've been there, I've kind of been very unimpressed. Oh, it's got everything. It's got everything. It's got great great restaurants, great museums, everything, great music. That's the thing about about New York and New Jersey. There's no good music. <laughs> there's no good. There's no good music. No. Like what? I see. I would beg to differ completely on that. Oh, you don't know what? Like the Strokes? Well, the 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 stro the Strokes. Not the Strokes. Strokes. That's yeah. what I said. No, you said yeah. Well, it's your accent again. But I I would say that. Well, I mean that's a good, that's a good band, but oh. I mean like what? Well, what's a good Philly band? Though? Oh well, you know I'm actually now that you mentioned I'm actually putting out a a, a box set of the uh, of the best of Philly. It's called Philly Pride. Okay. Yeah, it's got all the best music from Philly over the last fifty years. Bill wow. Haley, Hall and Oates, OJ's, Hooters, Robert Hazard. With the Who? The Hooters. Uh huh. Electric Love Muffin, Cinderella, Flag of Democracy, The Wishniacs, Johnson's Homo Picnic. Oh, so uh, those are truly some of the worst bands going. I, I'm I'm sorry to say that. I oh, think... uh, you don't know. We also got other stuff on there like Elton John, Eric Clapton, The Who, The Stones, <laughs> The Beatles, Bowie. What? What? what, what those, none of those groups. Have anything to do with Philly? Oh now. no, Those but they British love. Acts. They love to play here. They love to what? They love to play here. 
They love to play there. Oh, oh, so so they're actually getting on this. What is it? A box set? Yeah, it's called Philly Pryor. Sixty-three discs. <laughs> a sixty-three disc set. Oh yeah. Of of electric love muffin. Oh, great band. Uh huh. Sadistic exploits. Wow. So you really are. Uh, you're really putting your money where your mouth is. Oh with yeah, this. I want the world to know about this. I've also got a, a another box set uh, in the works. Uh huh. What's that? Yeah, it's the complete Sandinista sessions. You mean the Clash? Yeah. The complete Sandinista sessions. Yeah, it's fifty-two discs. <laughs> fifty-two, fifty-two discs of what was like already a long, a long enough album. Oh no, you didn't even get none of that good stuff on that thing. So you are putting out fifty-two discs. How long is each disc? Uh. Oh, 70, 74 minutes? Uh-huh. Oh, so you really have just packed this thing. Oh, yeah. There's there's ten entire discs of just of just tape hum. There's, t there's ten entire discs of tape hum. Yeah, you hum. can make out a little bit of them uh, talking in the background, but the, re you know, the rest is just kind of this... Mm -hmm. But it really makes you feel like you're there. Uh-huh. And th now what... Wait, what, what is your name again, sir? Silly boy Roy Ziegler. Philly boy Roy, and and you 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 called what to taunt me with? Oh, no. the Jets. I mean, what are you like a football fanatic? I'm a Philly fanatic. Well, the Philly fanatic is the, I guess your mascot. Okay, so oh, he got all his moves from me. I wanted that job so bad. As the Philly fanatic. Oh, yeah, I could have done a much better job throwing them yinglings out at people. Yinglings. Now, I mean, Philly, I think of Philly, and all I think of is, is like, weird, unhealthy food. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Have you ever had shoe fly pie? No, actually, I've never had shoe fly pie. Oh, it's great. What is shoe fly pie like? Oh, you got to taste it. It's got molasses in it, powdered sugar, and a lot of dough. Uh huh. Oh, it's good. Wow. I guess you. I guess you. You were. Uh, I can see why you got angry when I when I said that the food in in Philly was unhealthy. Oh well, of course I take offense because I'm also going to open up a uh, up a restaurant called Philly Food. Philly Food. Philly Food. We only serve Philadelphian cuisine. Philadelphian cuisine. Yeah, hoagies, cheesesteaks, funny cakes, shoe fly pie, gravy fries. Uh, we only serve Frank Soda. Frank Soda. It's a local. It's a it's a local, a local, as you would say. You know, you probably wouldn't wouldn't like it because your taste buds have been destroyed by all that plutonium they dump up there and all that mall food. <laughs> all the all the mall food. Yeah. So you, so uh, I, I'm assuming you think that everything in New Jersey is just a mall. Oh, you know, and, the, and them ladies with the, with their mall hair. You don't see none of that in Philly. Yeah. Oh, you know, you, you really don't see none of that in uh, New Jersey either. Uh, ever since uh, 1989 came around. Oh, I've been there. You know, I actually go. I go through your state once a year. I go to the shore down at Barnegat. Uh huh. Ship Bottom. Okay. But you know where? Uh, Ship Bottom, Barnegat. Okay. Down, down shore. Mm hmm I hold my nose going through, though, because it smells so bad. Yeah, it really, yeah, you know, it, exactly, it smells so bad in New Jersey, but Philly is just, it, what's it smell, like a rose? Oh, yeah, it smells like a cross between roses and cheesesteaks. Wow. A cross, boy, what, a, what an aroma that must be. Oh, hey, let's talk about Philly's great film history. Duh. <laughs> Okay, well, let's. What what is a, a Rocky. famous Rocky? Okay, everybody knows the uh, that statue is uh, still stuck outside that. Uh, oh no, it 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 governs over the city. How about Twelve Monkeys? Okay, like Twelve Monkeys, I guess. Oh, that was a great one. Was filmed. That was filmed in Philly. Witness. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I guess. Oh, that's also right. You have your uh, you have that whole. Kind of Amish culture down oh, there. Oh yeah, also. you know they don't screw with us. We don't screw with them. The Amish. What about hockey's toughest bullies? Hockey's toughest bullies. Oh, Is that a, another movie? It was a documentary made in 1972 about them Flyers. 
About the who? Nem flyers. Ne Nem flyers? Nem flyers. What's Nem? T H E M. But how do you say the word? Nem. Nem. So the flyers. Nem flyers. Uh huh. Ne Nem flyers. Hey, speaking of them flyers, let's talk about your sports arena. Okay, let's talk about the what, sports arena. What kind of a name is that? The Continental Airlines Arena? Uh huh. Well, what do you have down there for your Our game? arena name commands respect. Uh huh. Co uh, core states. The core state. Boy, that that is a difference though between the Continental Airlines Arena and core states. What even is core states? Oh, it's the bank. It's where it's the hub of all, of of the whole banking area. Uh huh. Yeah. So, so that you th your impression is that your impression is that the Continental Airlines Arena in New Jersey is uh is a, is a disappointing. It's like a, it's a, what is it? You think it's just an unexciting name or a? No, you don't know what it is. Uh huh. Core states, you know exactly what that is. Do you? Oh yeah. What's the first thing you think of when you hear? Continental Airlines Arena. Do you want my real answer? Sure. Pansies. Pansies. Yeah. And like, what? Like what? All your sports teams. Well, I mean, if you want to talk about the sports teams, I mean, the the uh, Continental Airlines Arena hosts the. Uh, the New Jersey Nets, who are, are in first place in the East. Oh, you know, but we're letting you guys get good this season. I mean, because can the, gain some confidence. The Sixers are kind of in the tank right no, now. No, no, no. We're let, we're on cruise right now. You guys are doing well, and then we're going to destroy you. You know why? Why? Because we only beat the best. You only beat the best. Yeah. So you're letting us get good. Oh, yeah. And first of all, I never refer to the team as us or we. Oh, I do. I'm sure you do. Yeah. Hey, I, I got a question for you. Yeah? Hey, how was your mummer's parade this year? I, I don't think there is a mummer's That's parade. That's right. Ours was great. Now, the mummer's parade is the the thing where the guys go out dressed in, like, newspapers and things. <laughs> newspapers? Mm-hmm. No, they got fancy costumes. Okay. Yeah. Although, you know... I had a little bit of trouble this year. Mm -hmm. I had too many yinglings, and I broke my pelvis. You broke your pelvis. Yeah. Now, this is, your name is Philly Boy Roy. Yeah. Now, I guess we've been getting a fair amount of calls of people being kind of mad oh, yeah? at you. Yeah. Oh, God. Well, you know, that's what happens when you're a suburb of Philly. If who's a suburb of and Philly? New Jersey. New Jersey is a suburb of Philly, yeah. according oh, you. Yeah. You actually think of it like that. Oh, you'd be nothing without Comcast, the cable company. Yeah, you guys would be in the dark. In the oh, if we didn't have Almighty Philly. Yeah. I mean, I think of Philly. All I think of is anger. Oh no, it's Philly pride. It's Philly. That's pride. Oh yeah, I mean, it's like a history of of, of pride and and hard partiers like. Uh, you know, New Jersey's got no one like Ben Franklin. New Jersey has no... I guess New... Well, Ben Franklin is kind of a, uh, I guess, an icon. A who, Philly, not New Jersey. Uh-huh. That guy rocked. Ben Franklin rocked. Oh, yeah, you could... You know, you could trace a straight line directly from him all the way up to the great modern Philly rockers like Ken Queter and Dave Wissickenen. Ken Queter? Yeah. Who's Ken Queter? Oh, the secret kids. Okay, and who is Dave? What's his name? We're sickening. And who, and, and who is that? Oh, man. He was the drummer for the Hooters. Dave was sickening. Yeah. Oh, I, I apologize for for not having the oh, name. Oh, well, you should. You know, if anybody wants to call and, and go toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe with this guy about Philly, because I, I kind of... People have been calling, uh, complaining about uh, oh, no. this Philly pride thing. Well, it hurts to hear the truth. I, I would, you know, Philly is not is not anything that's it's not, it's no great shakes. I mean, it's it's just it's like an angry, just an angry little city, isn't no, it? No, no, that's pride. 
That's pride? Philly pride. Well, that, I don't know about Philly. Philly pride is like a new concept to me. The idea of Philly pride. What are you exactly taking pride in? Oh, everything. Liberty Bell, hoagies, yeah. cheesesteaks, <laughs> them flyers, them sixers, them fillies, them eagles. Mm-hmm, Nem. Yeah. Hey, WFMU, you're on the air. Hi there. Hi. Um, I just wanted to tell Philly, look, he sounds like he has a cheesesteak stuck up him somewhere. He talks like a pansy. He's making my night horrible just listening to him. Oh, you sound hot. Oh, yeah, sure, I'm hot, and you're stuck over in Philly somewhere. Hey, well, look, hey, 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 Tom. Yes? Hey, well, look, hey, 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 Tom. Yes. You should get her number, and maybe she and I can go out for some cheesesteaks and some shoe fly pie. Some shoe fly pie. Yeah. I mean that that I, you have to admit you you don't hear that accent. No. A whole lot on TV or anything oh, like that. Oh, sure like, you did. Don't you remember that show Angie back in the late seventies? Donna Pascal. Vaguely. Yeah, she she was the star of it, man. That that was shot all in Philly. Donna Pascal. Yeah. So, that, so that's. So you do you ever get the feeling though that you're like hanging on to just a couple little things though like like a TV show that hasn't been on the air in 20 years. I watch it every day on video. You watch the show Angie oh, on yeah. video. All 12 episodes. But see that it, I mean New York and New Jersey are just I mean New York is uh, the the biggest city in the country, yeah, right? It's sort of an armpit though. It's an armpit. Yeah. Mm hmm. Compared to Philly. Oh, Philly's like the brain, and New York is like the armpit, and New Jersey is like the bung. Oh, I, I would, uh, I would wholeheartedly disagree with you. I mean, it sounds like. But I mean, what? What about like the anger of Philly in terms of like? If you think about Philadelphia, right. it's like, it's the only city where people booed. Mike Schmidt. It's like they they had their heroes and right. they they ridiculed them. Oh well, Schmidt he didn't didn't deliver that day. That's the thing about Philly. You know, if you don't deliver, we don't care who you are. Mm -hmm. You know, it's funny. Speaking of of, of Schmidt, I actually saw him the other day. You saw Mike Schmidt. Yeah, he's got this chain of hoagie uh, hoagie restaurants you go to and and cheesesteaks. Uh huh. And I went in there, and I had a cheesesteak. Guess who else was there? Who? Tom Kiefer. Who's Tom Kiefer? Oh, come on. I don't know who Tom Kiefer is. He was is. the singer for Cinderella. Another Philly band, oh, I, yeah. I assume? Oh, yeah. So that's good, though, to you. Tom, Tom Kiefer is talented. He had a lot of gold records. So uh, did he... Brittany Fox. That's another Philly band. Oh, yeah. Brittany Fox. Yeah. So you really take pride in the people, no matter if they're good or bad. Just oh, they're all good. As long that's as they're how from I look Philly. at it. If uh -huh. you're from Philly, you're good. Wow, that's a real that's a real uh, that's a real quality. Uh, Everybody's you got cool there. in Philly. You know what? What? I'm actually hoping uh, I'm actually getting this committee together to push for Philadelphia statehood. What do you mean? We're going to make Philly its own state. Why? Well, you know, a lot of the other cities in the state are kind of an embarrassment. It's like it's like you've got Philly down in the uh, southeast and everyone else like Erie and Pittsburgh and Harrisburg. They're mm -hmm. kind of losers. Compared to Philly. Oh, yeah. But WFMU, you're on the air. Hi, I'm from Philly and I'm a loser. That sounds like a fag. Okay. Uh, I'd, I'd have to say though you're you're uh, you know you're winning the argument oh, if this, yeah, is, but, if this is the best that people can do I'll I'll concede okay and you know what else what if that was down in Philly yeah if somebody in in New Jersey was down here and made a call like that if if I was on in Philly from New Jersey talking about how great New Jersey was uh huh there'd be a whole posse of guys like me going down to the station with hockey sticks. To what? To beat up? Yeah. Someone who would talk oh, about yeah. that? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh -huh. you got to take it into your own hands. Because someone would talk ill about yeah. your, your city. Yeah. you got to protect the pride. The pride. WFMU, you're on the air. Yeah, is this me I'm on? What's that? Am I on the air? Yeah, okay. Hey, uh, you, uh, 
this guy's great. This guy's great. I mean, are you? Where are you from, caller? I'm from, well, I'm from upstate New York in Utica. You're from Utica? Yeah. Well, I wish I was from Philly. Okay. Well, uh, I'll tell you this: the hockey team down there, the uh, the Flyers. Flyers. That's the team. <laughs> Who's your favorite guy on the Flyers? Pete Primo. Who else? You go, Mark Recchi, John Leclaire, Simone Gagne. I mean, you got Eric Lindros on your team. I mean, what a big baby! The guy wears a diaper the games. <laughs> on my team, what the Rangers? Yeah. And that's not exactly my team. He's a crybaby. What? Do you... Yeah, they are. You. You're from Jersey. Yeah, that's right. They are the New Jersey Rangers, and they play in New Jersey. Well, either way you slice it, he's a crybaby. Doesn't matter. He's a baby. So, he, plays, he plays in your area. So yeah. up in Utica. Yeah. I mean, what? What do you even? What, do you have you been to Philadelphia? No. But what makes you attracted to the to the uh, Flyers? I like the team colors. Uh huh. The orange and black. Orange and black. This guy's right on the money, and your Rangers stink. Okay, yes, my Rangers stink. That's what I said. Okay, yes, you're right. Well, thank you for it's calling. Paul, Paul Ranheim. Uh huh. Hey, come on, what do you got, Theo Fleury? Thank you for I calling. I can't believe your Rangers are so bad. Okay, uh, I'll do better. I'll do better when I assemble the team. Uh, Them Rangers next time. can't even skate right. Well, I I'd have to say. You're you're kind of winning the argument. That's right. Hey, you know what also helps me win? What's that? The fact that uh, you you losers over there in Jersey couldn't even handle Wawa. Couldn't handle what? Wawa. What do you mean Wawa? Wawa, the uh, the, oh, the convenience con the store. The convenience store. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we couldn't we couldn't handle it. Oh yeah. I mean, because it was like a chain that just came and went in New Jersey. Oh no, still going strong down here. Uh huh. Oh yeah. So we couldn't handle it. Oh, yeah, you couldn't handle the condiment station. The what? The condiment station. Hello? What do you mean, we couldn't handle it? You guys needed someone to put mustard on your wiener for you. You couldn't go over there by yourself and, and choose from all the great condiments that Wawa supplies you with. Relish, ketchup, mustard. So we're just intellectually inferior. Yeah, it's like you, you guys can't even pump your own gas. Well, it is a state law, I guess, in New Jersey. You kind of can't pump your own gas. Yeah, kids in Philly, they're pumping gas by the time they're three. By the time they're three? Yeah. Hey, WFMU, you're on the air. Hello? Hello. Hey, it's Officer Tom. Hey, Officer Tom. Uh, somebody had to step up to the place and talk to this guy. Thank you. Now, you are a Jersey resident. You're yes. a Jersey cop. Yeah. Oh, gee, my condolences. I, I like to think I represent northern New Jersey. Oh, you represent northern New Jersey. What do you think of this guy talking so big about Philly and so uh, putting down uh, New Jersey the way he is? Uh, he wouldn't last five minutes up here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You wouldn't last down here with me and Rizzo's boys. <laughs> Rizzo's boys. Huh? What is that, those dogs that wear the sweaters from the Bugs Bunny cartoon? Oh, man. <laughs> Good You're one. You're just making it worse for yourself. Why is that? I'll be up there with a hockey stick with my boys. No problem. I'll take a road flare, light it up, and poke you in the eye. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I'll skate on your face. <laughs> wow. Good one. This you is got some, me with uh, that. He'll skate on... A... He got... You can't... you can't concede, though. Uh, I'm not conceding this. He's like, uh, there's no ice. Oh, he's over. Now, what do you think, uh, Officer Tom, about uh, Philly? Like, are you a sports fan? Yeah, I'm not a huge sports fan, but I do support our local uh, New Jersey and New York teams. Mm -hmm. I don't get into the Philly teams or the, this guy calling from Utica, New York. I don't get into that. Yeah. Let me ask uh, you this. Okay, ask the question. Although I know you're a cop, and I don't, I don't take too kindly to cops, but I'll, I'll let you slide on that. Would you murder for your team? I would murder you for <laughs> no reason. He got you. Oh, boy, that hurts. Officer Tom one, Philly Boy Roy. No, no, zero. Philly Boy Roy. With a name like Philly Boy Roy, you should be murdered. Just on that alone. I agree with that too. All, all... And then and then throw that accent on top of it and he should be thrown in his remains should be thrown into a wood chipper. Oh, uh, you gotta be kidding me. You know, I did that to a guy once who, who slagged the flyers. <laughs> I put him in a wood in a wood chipper up there in Lancaster. Uh huh. 
Oh, well, you I, you really are a, a joy to behold, then, Philly boy. I think was, I think I, it's weird that you would also confess this to a police officer. Oh, maybe I was kidding. <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess now you were kidding. Oh, I don't. You were know. bragging a minute ago. Oh, I don't. Know. I, and I want you to know that we hoagies were invented in New Jersey, except that they were called blimpies first. Oh, that is that is a myth. No, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. The first blimpy in Hoboken. Blimpy, oh, that's a blimpy lie. base one. That's a lie. We got cheesesteaks, though. Yeah, but you bought all your meat from New Jersey. No, no, no. All our all our good meat comes from out there in uh, out there Kutztown way. Negative. It's all that processed meat that makes that part of New Jersey stink. That's where you get all your meat. Oh, New Jersey does stink. I give you that. <laughs> oh, one more for Philly boy Roy. <laughs> oh well, Officer Tom, I appreciate you calling to stick up for New Jersey. Anytime. All right, you have a good night. Civic pride. Okay. All right, bye. You're uh, <laughs> you're really a pretty gutsy guy oh, going yeah. up against the, uh, an officer of the law. Like oh yeah, that. you know, down here we don't even care about the law. You know, we just light fires all the time. Uh huh. Yeah. WFMU, you're on the air. Hi, I called you guys earlier. Oh um, yeah. Philly? Try yeah, to keep Philly, it clean though. Me try to keep it clean. Hot. Can you just try to keep it clean, though? You said... Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Against. I'm sorry about that. I just got a little overwhelmed. Let me just also say you're listening to WFMU East Orange, WXHD Mount Hope Worldwide, on the World Wide Web at WFMU. I'm sorry. There's an old black-haired middle-aged woman here who's actually really into Philly, and um, oh, yeah? she wants to know if Philly likes him, but I'm kind of interested because he thought I he thought I sounded hot. Yeah. Yeah, really? You, you sound real hot. I, I was I was going to ask you if you wanted to go get a hoagie. Yeah, well, Philly, um, I just wanted to know a little bit about you. Besides, you know, what do you do? You run this restaurant? Well, I'm starting in that. I've got uh, my record label that I'm working on. I also have a, have another box set coming out that's like, uh, do you know those those TV tune compilations that have all the TV songs? Sure. Well, this one has every TV theme from 1976 to 86, and that includes even the shows that uh, only ran like one or two episodes. Like right. what shows? Oh, like the Reggae Kid, uh, Friends for Life, Pirate Dad, uh, Garbage Face, Hudge, Stinkle, uh, Sewer Patrol. It's 32 discs. 32 well, discs. Your... Now, how much does something like that hold run? On, hold on a second. Stinkle? Yeah. I don't remember that show, Stinkle. Oh, you don't remember Stinkle? There was also a spinoff called Stinkle and the Kid. I don't remember any of these things. How much does something like that You don't that remember cost? Garbage Face? Uh, no, I don't, okay. I don't remember Garbage Face. Oh, 32 discs. Oh, that would run you uh, from our website. That would be probably like, I don't know, $325. Oh, that's a little pricey. Oh, yeah. Well, it's worth it, though. Uh-huh. Is well, there a way that you can get one disc out of the set if that's only what you want? Oh, I'm sure I could work out something for you. Really? Yeah. You think you could? If you'll have a hoagie with me. Would you be? Could oh, we possibly well, make a love know, connection? I, I don't, personally, I don't eat meat. Okay. So well, you we could have the have... hoagie for me, and I could just watch. Oh, I like that. Are we making a love connection here? Oh, yeah. Ma madam yes would you be interested in going on a date with uh philly boy roy well is he going to come to jersey or do i have to go out to philly what if we meet in delaware so delaware, the like halfway neutral, point neutral turf what's so good about delaware well it's neutral turf so it's like yeah. this what if the two of you now what here's a, here's a a uh a, I guess a conundrum okay what if the two of you hit it off okay you look at it, it's love at first sight okay now, uh, ma madam, what is your name? My name is Eva. Eva. So if Eva is is uh, you know proud of her home state, okay, right? You're New Jersey, Eva. Eva. Yes. You're from New Jersey. Yes, I'm from New Jersey. So you're proud Luther! of. Me. Oh, sorry. There's someone yelling at me. That's all right. Now, <laughs> but now you you don't want to move to Philly, but Philly boy Roy doesn't want to move to New Jersey. What do you do if you fall in love? Well, we, we go to the Bahamas. Oh, I like that. Although I don't like to be out of Philly for more than a day. That for could more, be a problem. For more than a day? That, yeah. what, well, what's gonna, are you going to uh, melt? Uh, well, I just, I just need it. I need the excitement and the pizzazz. That Philly brings. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
the wow. stench. The stench that yeah. Philly brings. Yeah, the, the cheese whiz and the meat. You just need that in the air. Wa- <laughs> Yo, and, and, and the, the fish wafting off of the, uh, off the wharf. Wow, I can see how you could miss that. Yeah. Now, uh, Eva, if you want to email me uh, at thomas at wfmu.org and Philly Boy Roy, if you want to send me your email address, maybe we can make a uh, maybe we can make a love connection. Oh yeah. Okay. I like what it. What was yeah. the email address again? Tom S T O M S at wfmu.org. W-f-m-u dot org. Okay. Okay, and Philly, I'll be expecting to hear from you soon. Oh, yeah, you got it. Okay, great. Thanks for calling, Eva. All right. Okay. Bye. Bye. People want to talk to Philly Boy yeah, Roy. why not? People, people, everywhere I go, people want to know about Philly. Really? Oh, yeah. You actually find that people care about Philly. Oh, yeah, because I wear a shirt that says, ask me about Philly. Because you wear a shirt, well, I guess then that would explain why people would ask about oh, it. Oh, yeah. If you wear a shirt, kind of, you know, endorsing it like that. Oh, yeah. I guess that explains Let me get another call here on the air. WFMU, you're on the air. WFMU, you're on the air. I have some things to say about his Wawa, all right? Okay. Uh, number one, we still got Wawas down here. We got plenty of them. I got one that just opened right next to my house. And what town are you in? Old Bridge. Old Bridge? Old Bridge, yes, yes. But they're not just in Old Bridge, though, like. There's one in uh, Marlboro, down by the high school. Yeah, stuff like that. Now, so that kind of goes uh, contrary to your statement there, Philly Boy. Yeah, Roy. from what I heard, from what I heard, and I read in uh, in Philadelphia um, Weekly was that uh, Wawa wasn't taken to over there in New Jersey because people couldn't handle it. But I, I guess I was wrong, and I, I will certainly concede that. But. And that also puts one point in your category, too, because I didn't think you could handle Here comes that. another one. Now, can you handle, let me ask you, young man, yes. can you handle the condiment station if you were to get, now, like, a hot dog? I'll tell you, I don't buy hot dogs in there. I go in there. Number one, I like Red Bull, all right? If you've had Red Bull before, pretty uh-huh. good drink. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Stupid phone. I like Red Bull. It's a really good drink, you know? Yeah. So, uh, dance phone. Yeah, the Flyers drink that. Yeah, well, they don't sell it at Wawa. I go into Wawa looking for a nice can of Red Bull. N- no Red Bull. Also, you buy a sub from there twice. They always get the order wrong. They can never make the sub right when you order it. Well, that's because you're calling it the wrong thing. It's a hoagie. They... <laughs> go away. It's a ho. Well, hoagie is like Philly lingo for a sub. No, it's... So if it's... I call it a hoagie, the lady's going to get it right. It's the only lingo. It's, it's horrible. Well, no, and it's, also... It's like a regional thing. It's you like, have so much Philly pride. Where, why aren't you listening to a, a Philly station? Yes, huh? good. Oh, there what, you go. What's up with that? you got to listen to the Jersey station with Tom and the best show, huh? There you, you know go. why? Why? I want to see how the losers live. Oh, well, thank oh, you. yeah, yeah, you liar. And that's just like you're releasing your 32-disc box set. It's 52. Oh. Well... That guy doesn't even deserve to buy Tasty Cakes from Wawa. Are you a big Tasty Cakes fan? Oh, yeah. Well, let's, uh... Philly Boy Roy, you seem to have struck a nerve here in the uh, yeah, listenership. Yeah, it's funny. I'm, I'm, I'm just, uh... It's like, it's like I'm Joe Fraser here, just uh, left and right all over the place. Mm-hmm. WFMU, you're on the air. Hi, I just want to say Philly Boy Roy, he is ugly. He's probably from New Jersey. He just, he just doesn't like us. That he's ugly. So wait a minute, I'm confused with your point. He's ugly. Yeah, he's so, ugly. So he's from New Jersey. Yeah, we just wanted to talk about how ugly he is. Well, where are you from? I'm from New Jersey. So oh boy, oh, that's boy. some great logic. I, I kind of I'm lost on your point here. Hey Tom. Yeah. I listened to your show before, but I never picked up on how stupid your listeners are. Well, they're they're not stupid really. They're they're kind of. Uh, that, you know, you get a wide spectrum. We get younger people listening. We get older people listening. It's it's uh. Yeah, but there's a common thread though. What's that? They're all stupid. <laughs> no, they're, they're not all stupid. Now you know with. Uh... Okay, we got another call here. Okay. Come in. Somebody uh. Looking to go toe to toe with Philly Boy Roy. Oh yeah. WFMU, you're on the air. Hello, Tom, and hello, Philly Boy Roy. It's me, Roger Tamblin. Hello. How are you? How is it, everybody's New Year? Hello. We're doing okay. Now, Roger, you are from where? England. 
I'm from all over. Uh huh. But I couldn't help but listening, and I'd like to tell you, Philly boy, that I've been trying to get in touch with the Hooters for some time now. Oh yeah. That's right. I'd like to put together a tour for them. Well, you know, right now, Eric and um, Eric and the other dude, uh, uh, Rob Hyman. They have a new band right now called Heimzillian Brazimen. Heimzillian Brazimen. Yeah, what? Why? What? What? What would make you call a band Heimzillian Brazimen? Well, if you take both their names. Okay. Rob Hyman. Uh huh. That sounds fascinating. Eric Brazilian, and you change it around. It's Heimzillian Brazimen. Okay, I guess I mean it's not a it's not a catchy name. Oh, well, they're going back to their ska roots. Wow, I guess so we can look forward to that. But, Roger, you put together, you've called the program on occasion, you put together package tours for... That's correct. I'd also like to to commend your guest on the phone for uh, his two excellent box set ideas. Oh, thanks. That's, that's great ideas. And I, I also was wondering if, if you had any contact with a couple of other Philadelphia acts. Oh, shoot. How about uh, Gene Lab and Special Sauce? No, I haven't actually, but they, uh, you know, that stuff's a little bit too bluesy for me. Oh, really? Yeah, I have to keep more on the on the rock uh, tip, like the Hooters. So that's more like you're more of a rocker. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Well, how about how about the the Philadelphia classics, the the Dead Milkmen? Yeah, it's funny you should mention that. I'm doing a box set on them. What's that? A lot of outtakes. Big lizard in my backyard. A lot of outtakes from Big Lizard, a lot of outtakes from Eat Your Paisley, uh, a lot of outtakes from Beelzebubba, and also uh, we're so going to put on the on we're going to put on the entire uh, Death Rides a Pale Cow demo. Wow! So what what is the name of your label, uh, Philly Boy Roy? It's Philly Pride. Philly Pride. Yeah. Well, maybe I can put you in touch with uh, Roger Tamblin. Oh, about... that sounds great. Yeah, offline, that sounds fine, or off the, you know. Uh... Off the air, we could get in touch. Oh yeah, you got to come to Philly. I'll, I'll, I'll give you some uh, shoe fly pie and also some some uh, gravy I'll fries. Be in Philly, I'll be in Philly in two weeks, so perhaps we can meet up down at the wharf. Oh, it sounds great. Well, what's bringing you to Philly, Roger? I'm traveling all over, gathering up new talent. Okay. But right now, boys, I have to go. I have to get out of the tub. So, I uh, I will uh, I will talk to you soon, Tom. And it was great talking to you, Philly boy, Roy. Oh, and you I think too. You had some excellent ideas. Great. Oh, thanks. Uh, oh, well, okay. Thanks. Okay, I'll All try right, to thank put... Thank you very much. I'm doing a lot of work here as, right. as your agent. Oh, yeah. Tonight. You know, I'll cut you in. I'll give you... Uh, oh, I don't know. I'll go down to Jim's and get you a gross of steaks. Well, I'm not a big steak eater, though, so I don't know if I'd be... Oh, that you would... like them. I'll like the steaks? Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, uh... Philly Boy Roy, I guess you made your case here yeah. about uh, Philly. Looks like, looks like I'm the winner. I, I would say you're not a winner, necessarily. I'd say we we kind of all lose. If that's if you're a winner, then we all lose. If I win, Philly wins. Yeah, you're you're uh, you have to learn to just accept people for people and not just take such pride in something like a city. You know, just try. Oh, no, well, it's it's all we've got down here. I mean, it's all you've got. I mean, it it, it doesn't have to be all you've got. It's all we need. It's all you need. So, oh, yeah. So you actually think of it like paradise. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I got I... everything down here. Hey, I got to run now, okay? I got to go down to the cleaners and pick up my Eagles helmet that I wear every Sunday. Okay, you actually get it clean. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's... uh it's getting that's... buffed. Oh, well, good luck to you and the Eagles this week. Okay. All right, thanks, Sorry, uh, Roy. Jersey, okay. All right, Bye. goodbye. Wow, that's kind of exciting. We got a call from a local, uh, not local, a Philly guy, with his opinions on uh, his opinions on New Jersey and New York.